the key at attributes of, of a resilient city is inclusiveness. Um, and you can think about that in a couple of different ways, but certainly, you know, the most poor and vulnerable uh, citizenry, that they feel like their voices are heard, that they're included, that you have representatives from those groups, whether they're NGOs or community-based organizations or, um, or what have you. I think that's an important part of the process of building a resilient city. Another part of the inclusiveness is, you know, your relation to your neighbors. Uh, so we, we often tell the story of a uh, Toyota plant in Turkey uh, in the late 90s. Uh, it had architected itself and, and, and it met the highest level of seismic safety um, down to the last bolt, beam, girder. All the employees were well trained about what to do in an earthquake. And following a, a significant earthquake in the region, that plant survived perfectly. But throughout the region, there were over 5,000 dead almost 100,000 injured, roads, bridges, houses, utilities all collapsed, and of course that Toyota plant shut down. And so understanding the relationship that your system and organization has with your neighbors and with your suppliers and with your, um, with, with in, the, in the larger ecosystem that you operate in, I think it, it is a really important aspect of building resilience.